Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm here at the house. As many of you know, last fall my uh, chainsaw was stolen. When people broke into my barn, one of the things they took was my new chainsaw that was a Christmas present. <laughs> and I'd only got a chance to use it a couple of times. So I've been wanting to replace it. And let me show you what I bought uh, as a replacement. Let's see if I can do this and still see what I'm doing in the camera. Uh, <clears throat> that's a Poland 2050 or PP 5020 AV with uh, the anti vibration. And it's supposed to be like really more comfortable and easier to use. Uh, it's got a 20 inch bar and chain on it, which does need to be replaced, but it's a really good saw. Um, I think I'm going to be really happy with it. My other one was an 18 inch pulling uh, that had a 42cc motor. This has the uh, 50cc motor, and I think what I'm going to do, because it does need a new bar and chain, we figured that one out. Um, whoever used this, they didn't use it a lot, but they didn't know how to use it. And we sharpened it up, uh, and actually did some cutting with it. When I bought it, it I found this on Craigslist. And I went over, it would start, what the, the people were complaining about, it would start and then bog down, um, like it had no power. So I wound up buying it for a whopping $25. Uh, it's really nice. I figured the case was worth $25 probably. But, uh, we brought it home, cleaned it all up, and I changed out the gas in it. I put fresh gas and oil in it, and we took it out of work and was cutting with it. Um, that was the problem with it. It had bad gas in it, and that's why it wouldn't run, you know, it would bog down like it did. It just, that's the only thing I can figure, it was bad gas. Uh... Two poles, and it was started. That's all it took. It's supposed to have that uh, easy V starting or something like that that makes it easy to start, and it really is easy to start. But I don't need a 20-inch saw. Uh, the blade, or the chain, they hit some rocks with and stuff. You can tell that. Uh, it still cuts is not as easily as it should so I'm gonna get a I'm gonna keep this one obviously and, and you know pick up another 20 inch chain and put it in the barn but I'm gonna buy an 18 inch bar and an 18 inch chain for it because that's really all the bigger I need uh, and I figure this 50 cc motor ought to run an 18 inch chain really nice but that's my $25 <laughs> replacement of my pulling that got stolen out of the barn last fall. And uh, like I said, we took it out. Charlie's checking it out. Uh, we took it out and uh, cut some stuff at work. And it cut just fine. So I am really happy with it. And for $25, I'm even happier with it. Uh, look, there's some oil down in there, boy. Don't get in there. Don't get in there. No. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd show that one off to you. It pays to shop on Craigslist and go see the stuff. My $25 pulling. Uh, I'll uh, have to take it out there and run it for you guys. Make a video of me running it. Show you how good it really does run. And it's really clean. I mean, there's there's just, it was not used much. 
It just wasn't used properly. They uh, didn't know how to use it. And I'm not a logger, so I don't need, uh, you know, a big giant Husqvarna or steel, you know. I don't, I just need to cut some wood around the place. Um, and this was made after Husqvarna bought pulling. So from what I understand, the carburetor, the fuel system, the, uh, a lot of the parts inside it are interchangeable with the 455 Husqvarna, I believe. Uh, that's what the guy told me. Because I went, I needed a new filter for it, and I wanted to order the bar and chain for it. And he said a lot of those parts, the sprocket, everything is interchangeable with the uh, Husqvarna 455 now that Husqvarna bought Poland. So, you know, like I said, for a logger, they might not like it. For me, being a casual user out at St. Bernard Acres, I think it's going to work out perfectly. And for $25, who could go wrong? Talk to you all later. I'm out.